Well, as if it wasn't dark enough days for the dim-witted moron commissioner piloting the NBA League offices en route a devastating Titanic-like voyage which has sunk viewership and more than likely irreparably destroyed the product of professional basketball in this country forever. Adam Silver now has even bigger problems on his hands. But what could be bigger, you might be wondering, than Christmas Day games generating under 2 million viewers this season? Having multiple women's college basketball games outdraw every single NBA game for the last five years? I mean, what could be worse than spearheading the sheer obliteration of competition and defensive effort? To the point we now have guys celebrating scoring totals in the locker room like they just won an NBA championship for a game they jogged up and down the court making uncontested layups and dunks in. Sure, the NBA product is at nearly an all-time low in popularity, as you have to go all the way back to the dark ages of the 70s to find a time period where people cared so little about this sport. But at least the integrity of the sport wasn't being challenged to the point it has in recent years. And that is messaging that will likely only get louder and louder in the wake of the bombshell Jonte Porter news from yesterday. And while some might want to label this specific platform as a sports conspiracy channel or a LeBron hate channel, you cannot deny the sheer and massive weight of the facts. The Lakers are a middling and average team on the surface as they now have a record of just 165 and 153 over the last four seasons. And yet, the Lakers had 40 nationally televised games this regular season. That is practically half of their 82-game schedule, and it is 10 more than the defending NBA champion Denver Nuggets received. The NBA League offices have clearly hitched its wagon to LeBron James, and they are intrinsically connected to his success. So a team that has barely been 500 for four consecutive seasons now continues to get dragged into the playoffs on the strength alone of an overwhelming free throw differential. Over the last two seasons, the Lakers have now shot over 1,000 more free throws than their opponents. This number is substantially higher than the team with the second highest differential, the New York Knicks, higher to the tune of over 700 more. Something clearly and extremely suspicious is happening with the Lakers and the NBA's desire to have them not only in the playoffs, but to advance as deep throughout that tournament as is possible. And nothing is worse and more damaging for the NBA or any professional sports league than the appearance of impropriety as it pertains to rigging or scripting outcomes. That is why players betting on games is so damning and such an awful look for any sports league. And yesterday, Adam Silver leveled a lifetime ban from the league for Jonte Porter for violating the league's gambling rules. Porter, who is most well known for being the younger brother of Denver Nuggets star forward Michael Porter Jr., hasn't played since March 22nd as the league launched an ongoing investigation into to gambling irregularities at that time. And Porter, who went undrafted in 2019, made his NBA debut with the Grizzlies in 2021 and played 26 games with the Toronto Raptors this season. But he will now play no more games in the NBA ever, as the league is still yet to conclude its open and ongoing investigation. But what we know at this time is that Porter bet on at least 13 NBA games, totaling just over $54,000 from January to March of 2024, with individual per game bets ranging from $15,000 to $22,000. But, and now this is the biggie, the league also found that Porter limited his participation in at least one game that they directly referenced, that is, a March 20th contest against Sacramento, where Porter said he was feeling ill three minutes into the game. 
while a better that Porter knew and associated with placed an $80,000 parlay prop bet on Porter, which paid out $1.1 million. What? Yeah, because that wasn't going to raise any red flags at all. A prop bet circling around a player that was averaging four points per game and paid out $1 million. This is an enormous yikes moment for the NBA, and the news is breaking right as the season is at its crescendo, with the playoffs set to begin Saturday with a four-game slate. The marquee matchup of the four being the final game of the day, Adam Silver's golden boy LeBron at the defending world champion Denver Nuggets house. And with all of the discourse swirling around now about the integrity of the league as a whole, one thing to keep an eye on in that matchup is that free throw differential. Though if I were you, I would bet the over for LA.